Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're gonna make a bird swing. Now I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna attempt to recreate it. I loved it and wanted to make one for myself. So I had this roll of grapevine, so I'm gonna use that. I got these little chickadees at Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99 at 40% off, and we're gonna use the three yellow ones. Some twine, and then I grabbed just a bunch of random greenery, flowers in yellow and white, and just the colors that were on the one that I saw at Hobby Lobby. Now I'm just gonna cut a portion of this, the length that I want my swing. Now you could use a grapevine wreath and just cut that. Those small ones at Dollar Tree would be perfect for this. Then I'm just gonna take some twine and I'm gonna wrap it around the top half of one side of my grapevine. So I started by tying it in a knot and then I'm just gonna spin it around just till I get a good chunk of it on there. So I, I did quite a few spins, you'll see. I just wanted to make sure it was nice and thick. Then I repeated the process on the other side. I didn't cut the twine because you wanna use it as your hanger. And then I did the same thing on the other side. And I just flipped the twine through back and forth. This side was a little different. So I just did that until I got as much as the other same as you know amount as the other side. Then I just hot glued it. So now we have the little swing, our grapevine swing. Next, I'm gonna take out the three yellow chickadees. And I was going to do it with their little feet on them, but they just didn't sit right. They kept flopping all around, and I just thought that that was just a terrible idea. And then I figured once I got three of them on there, that probably wouldn't work. So I ended up pulling him off, and I actually cut off the feet. And then he sat perfectly on the grapevine. So you want to make sure you find your center and put your first chickadee on. You want to hold it till he can sit on his own. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other two, one on each side. And again, I cut off the feet and they, they cut right off. And again, just a little dab of hot glue. Now you can put them all three next to each other. You can spread them out. It's, this is part's totally up to you. I was just trying to recreate what I saw in the store because I really liked it. So now that we have all three of the little birdies on there, little chickadees. Isn't that super cute already? Next, we're going to start uh, adding our greenery and flowers. And like I said, you can do whatever colors you want on these. It's totally up to you. I just started with some greens and I laid one on each side. And I got my greenery all at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna add another piece of greenery to the other side. I kind of kept it symmetrical. Everything I did to one side, I did to the other. I added another piece of greenery on that side. And I didn't have the greenery go all the way to the ends. I just kind of kept everything sort of in the middle. Now I'm going to add some flowers right underneath the chickadees. And that's just me cutting off that long plastic piece just so they sit flush up against the grapevine. And see how cute that is? Then I added some yellow flowers. And I figured I'd add a few more of the white flowers on either side. And again, these are all Dollar Tree flowers. I 
And look how cute it is. I added another flower in the center because I could still see some of the grapevine. So I tried to cover that up with some more florals. And I really like how that turned out. Isn't that absolutely the cutest thing? I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I hope it inspires you to maybe make one. I really think this came very close to looking like the one from Hobby Lobby. Obviously, it has a little bit different of a look to it than theirs because you can't match exactly, but I adore it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to spread the chaos.